The internet can be such a strange place. If you get retweeted by the right person at the right time, you might become a celebrity for doing the most simple, common stuff. This is what happened to the Backpack Kid, who you may know for doing the floss dance at Katy Perry's show. These strange moves that he performed with a straight face and wearing a backpack changed his life forever. But what comes fast won't last, and it looks like the golden era of this teenager's career started and ended at that same show. After that, the Backpack Kid, whose real name is Russell Horning, has tried everything to stretch his fame. He started a YouTube channel, a music career as a rapper, he had some modeling gigs, and he even attempted to sue Fortnite. So what really happened to the Backpack Kid after he went viral? Did he manage to turn his fleeting fame into a career like many other teenagers do? Keep watching if you want to find out. Russell was born in Georgia on December 19, 2001. He has two older brothers and a little sister, and according to an interview with Before They Were Famous, he grew up as the class clown. He has always liked to entertain others. In the summer of 2014, Russell discovered that he could entertain people by performing comedic dances. That year, in church camp, he performed the floss dance for the first time. Later on, he decided to start posting videos of his dances on Instagram. On December 7, 2016, Rihanna gave Russell a shout out. She posted one of his videos on Instagram with a caption when I found out about my eight nods. Shout out to the Academy! And she tagged Russell. The kid gained over 50,000 followers in the next couple of days. That was pretty good for him, but the best was yet to come. After Rihanna's shout out, Katy Perry found Russell's Instagram profile, and once she watched some of his videos, she invited him to dance in one of her songs on Saturday Night Live. This Katy Perry performance was particularly flashy. It included a variety of dancers and drag queens with heavy makeup and shiny clothes. But the one person who stole the show was Russell, who danced to the song Swish Swish in front of the massive audience. He was wearing his everyday clothes, his trademark backpack, and a surprisingly straight face. This is what actually made him go viral, and that same year, Russell starred in the official video for Swiss Swish, along with huge stars like Terry Crews, Gaten Matarezzo, and Christine Sidelko. Russell was clearly enjoying the recognition, and he even shared a picture of his accomplishment plaque on his Instagram profile. It included newspaper clippings from the day of the SNL show, as well as the door tag of his dressing room at the studio. After being on TV, Russell got a huge amount of followers on Instagram, and he started working hard to keep them entertained. He kept uploading dance videos, and also some short clips of him and his friends hanging out and joking around. Russell tagged Rihanna, Katy Perry, and some meme pages in some of his videos, which showed that he clearly didn't want to be forgotten. Sadly, he then did something that got the wrong type of attention. In 2017, Russell posted a video of himself using a BB gun to shoot a goat in the eye. He deleted the video quickly after, but it had already sparked major controversy. Then, then Russell uploaded a video where he explained that the goat was okay and he showed it. He also claimed that the goat was running around being happy and that it was just afraid of humans. This could have ended his career at once, but luckily Russell still had some fame to hold on to, so the goat incident was forgotten. Russell was becoming more and more active on YouTube, and some of his videos were really unconventional. His sense of humor involved doing strange stuff with a deliberately unfunny attitude. Some of the titles of his videos are Eating Wings, My Shoe Collection, and eating Chick-fil-A in silence. Also, he didn't seem to take himself seriously and he had no problem making fun of himself. It seemed to work well at least in the beginning. Russell took the momentum and started pursuing a music career, and in February 2018, he released his single, Too Lit. It had a positive response and gathered 40,000 views in two days. But apart from wanting to be a rapper, Russell was keen to becoming a big actor. In an interview with Daily Mail in 2019, he said, My biggest goal for acting would be to be in a big role in a big movie so I can see it in theaters with my friends. Russell went on to say that people think he doesn't have any talent apart from doing the floss dance, but according to him, he can offer so much more. I have way more talents than that. People just don't know about them yet. So I'm going to take the platform that I have now and skyrocket it to the top. In another interview, when he was asked about the secret of his success, Russell said, I'm just being myself and being original because when you think about it, you can't find any other accounts that dance for a comedic kind of purpose. Everybody else tries to dance in a good form so they can get famous that way, but I made up a new kind of genre of dancing and that's what got me big. However, many people soon discovered that Russell was not as original as he claimed to be and they started exposing him. The Backpack Kid had said several times that he had invented the floss, but some YouTubers found proof that this dance existed way before Russell made it viral. 
The oldest video of someone doing the floss on YouTube dates from 2011, and there's another clip of the dance in a 2014 video from J Stu Studios. Also, there are people on Reddit that claim that this dance was never original in the first place, and some users even remember doing that in gym class years and years ago. The fact that Russell didn't invent this dance is particularly interesting because in 2018, Russell's mom sued Epic Games featuring the floss in the game Fortnite without giving Russell any recognition. However, before the lawsuit, Russell was very supportive of Fortnite having the dance he popularized. This made everyone believe that Russell was only after the money and that he would do anything for fame. The lawsuit ended up being dismissed because the floss was not even registered under Russell's name. But this incident had already caught the attention of many people who started noticing more and more that Russell was trying too hard to stay famous. In summer 2018, Russell released his song called Flossin, featuring DJ Suede. The song, as you may expect, is an homage to the dance that made him famous. However, the reaction was not good this time. In fact, it was very bad. The video has been watched over 16 million times, but it has way more dislikes than likes. Some of the comments say mean things like, I sprained my ankle yesterday and I got up from my wheelchair just to turn this song off. Other comments are more honest, like the one that says, there's more than triple the amount of dislikes than likes on this video. He had his 15 minutes of fame. As if that wasn't bad enough for his career, Russell then went to Genius to explain his song, which was not really necessary because most of the lyrics say, I be flossin'. People in the comment section of this video video also didn't like that Russell seemed to be trying really hard to stretch his fame. It's like he's trying to make himself a meme. There were other people who were not sure if Russell was being deliberately cringy. I can't tell if this is serious or not and that worries me. In late 2018, another video of the Backpack Kid went viral. This time because he was kicked off the stage after he started doing the floss at a rap concert. In an interview, Russell explains that he was actually invited to that show, but he accidentally knocked a phone out of a guy's hand and they pushed him out. Russell said in that interview that the internet internet turned that clip into something it was not, and then added that people online always wants to see your downfall. According to Russell, the incident was not a big deal. Russell also claimed that people think everything he does is cringy only because the backpack kid did it. He also addressed all the hate that he was getting online, and he said that even if people are mean to him on the internet, in real life nobody has ever come to him and told him that he's irrelevant. The Backpack Kid keeps posting on YouTube, and his latest music videos have a very similar amount of likes and dislikes. He also posts pranks, story time videos, challenges, normal teenager stuff. Most of his videos have the comment section turned off, so maybe Russell prefers not to know what the people think about him and his content. Outside of YouTube, Russell has 1.8 million followers on Instagram and 2.4 million followers on TikTok. The attitude of the Backpack Kid is very consistent. He's always authentic in his awkwardness, he has a funny, unfunny attitude, and the content of his vlogs keep being really strange. But Russell is 19 now, and he's starting to look more like an adult, so maybe we can expect his content to change soon. Do you think Russell will ever accomplish his dream of being a big star, or will the backpack kick continue to vanish into internet oblivion? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section.